Hey guys, hopefully you're all good today. Today I want to talk to you all a little bit about energy balance. When it comes to weight loss or weight gain, understanding energy expenditure and calories is going to be super important. So like most people who are either trying to gain weight, aka gain muscle, or trying to lose weight and lose body fat, it's all going to come down to nutrition. Exercise is going to be hugely beneficial in the shape and the performance of your body. But when it comes down to gaining weight or losing weight, it all comes back to nutrition. Are you eating enough or are you eating too little? So we're going to talk a little bit about how weight loss and weight gain works from a calorie point of view. So if you're trying to lose weight or gain muscle, how your calorie intake is going to affect the effectiveness of that. So first off, what is a calorie? A calorie is a unit of energy that we expend in our bodies. You can think about it like this. Low calories equals low energy and high calories equals high energy. For athletic performance and people trying to gain a lot of muscle mass, a surplus or a high amount of calories is required because their expenditure is very high. Whereas people trying to lose weight, they're gonna be using their stored energy as body fat as fuel instead of normal glycogen from food. Now in today's society, we have access to everything we need to know when it comes to calories. If you buy a ready-made meal or something processed, it will usually tell the amount of calories in that meal. You can also find out the amount of calories in all foods on things like MyFitnessPal or just use Google. So the energy equation that hopefully everyone should know. So if you're trying to stay the same and maintain, you want to consume the same amount of calories as you burn. For instance, if you consume 2,000 calories in a day, you also want to burn 2,000 calories in a day. That way, you'll stay the same. That's what we call maintenance. If you want to lose weight, then you're going to want to consume less calories than you burn on a daily basis. For instance, you might eat 1,500 calories and burn 2,000. That way, you create a calorie deficit of 500 calories per day. The calorie deficit is dependent on how much you move and how much you exercise, as well as how much you eat and put into your body. And lastly, if you're looking to gain weight and gain muscle, having a surplus of calories is going to be beneficial. This means consuming more calories than you're going to burn on a daily basis. Over a prolonged period with lots of training, this should increase size of muscle and strength of muscle, but it will also potentially increase body fat. An easy way to think about this is calories into your body and then calories out of your body. Calories in is anything you're going to eat. Anything that you consume that has calories in, whether it be liquid or solid, and calories out is your daily expenditure. So how much you're exercising, how much you're walking, the intensity and the frequency and the duration of that exercise or movement. Other things that affect the amount of calories that you burn off in a day can be things like temperature, hot or cold, as well as things like stress, muscle mass, muscle density, as well as genetics. The great thing about using calories as a way of controlling your weight is that you're in total control. You have the power to change which way you go. Do you want to stay the same? Do you want to lose weight? Or do you want to gain weight? This is easily achieved by calorie control. If you'd like to burn more calories, then you need to move more. If you'd like to burn less calories, then you can move less. Using this structure as a basic overall principle for your goals is going to be hugely beneficial when it comes to long-term progress. Using calories to understand whether you're in a calorie surplus or a calorie deficit is a great way to start any nutritional program or any exercise program if your goal is to lose weight or gain weight. Understanding the energy balance will take a little bit of time, but after a while, you'll start to get used to how many calories you consume on a daily basis and what that means for you. If you eat certain foods on a certain day, once you get them into your routine, are you losing weight, gaining weight, or staying the same? If you don't want to track calories, using your weight as an indicator is a great idea. If you find you're gaining weight, then start to reduce those calories down. If you find that you're losing weight, then maybe start to increase those calories. Calorie intake can vary from person to person. People that do a lot of exercise multiple hours per day will need more calories to fuel their overall exercise regime. People that are moving less will need less calories. So if you're moving less but still consuming lots, that's going to lead to weight gain. More specifically, body fat. And vice versa, if you're doing lots of activity and exercise, but not eating enough to fuel that, the body will start to use its body fat reserves to start to fuel your workouts. So whatever your goal, using the overall calorie principle is a great place to start, and it's a great underlying foundation of any nutritional program. Hopefully that helps guys, and I'll see you soon.